Yo, what's going on, guys? Gonna be showing you a Darius cheese that's taking over the Darius meta, which is to run Lethal Tempo, Triumph Alacrity Last Stand, Bone Plating and Flinching with Attack Speed 80 and Armor. Lethal Tempo is popping up more and more because it's seen in pro play. It lets you stack up your passive faster, which obviously your bleed does more damage the more stacks you have. And at max stacks, which is five, you get extra AD. At level one, it's 30. At max rank, it's 230. So the more AD you have, obviously, the more attack speed you have. If you're out of attacks, you can put out more autos, you're doing way more damage. We're gonna cheese the Renekton here. Something I like to do is to get a deep ward onto their blue buff if I can. That way we can kind of figure out which way he's coming from because Darius is all about level one cheese, level three, and then level six. But the best thing about him is his level one. You can go up against everybody and do quite well with a W start. So we'll just start right here. We can zone him off the wave level one, make him miss XP. If he comes from this wave, same thing. And if they're foolish enough to try to run past us or if they just happen to walk into us, they're gonna get destroyed secondary runes you can take just about everything on darius you don't have to uh take bone plating you can go for cosmic biscuits you can go for the nimbus so i'm going to freeze this wave put it into kill formation we're good to go so next went for d blade as well i kind of want to hit level two first we'll start w then we'll get e look for the all in because he's not going to start dash level one he steps up here and we'll see what he does. He does have Ignite is the thing. Auto W reset. W gets mana refund and half cooldown refund. He's going to Q for that. You're just going to want this. He gave it up. You shouldn't have done that. He's scared. I'm about to hit two here. Ghost him down. I should have gone for my pull. He assumed I did. That's why he flashed. This is like diamond 60% win rate. So he figured I took pull level two like I should have since I hit level two first. We got his flash, so that's really, really good. So now what we want to do, we can't kill him. He's playing like an absolute coward. He's playing a video game where he's supposed to have fun and he's just going to hide poop in his pants the whole time. So now what we want to do is go kill his jungler. We're going to get level three off cannon wave. You always get level three off cannon wave as a solo lane. So now that we're level three, we're going to go kill the enemy jungler. This happens a lot, top lane and mid lane. People, they just play safe, especially the higher elo you go. They just play, 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 play real safe. My waves crash, no clue where the VA goes at. He should kind of be in the area though. He's not for whatever reason. I'd like not to miss minions. I don't have my ward since I cheesed it earlier. He's just not there. It's weird, he should have been there at that time the cannon crossover works out perfectly so he's gonna hit four before me which isn't a huge deal because he won't have a an extra ability over me he doesn't have his fury built up here step forward with q couldn't quite find it his waves are actually coming to me now and we don't we think viego's gonna be top side so we don't want to step forward too much because we're gonna die to a gank his waves reinforcing first Top scuttles up. The odds of Viego being top right now is, are incredibly high. So if we need to give up some minions, that's exactly what we'll do. If I could step forward and bait him to use that Q, that would be really good. Go for the Q max first. E max second, W max last. He is gonna be up XP. I missed one or two minions whenever I did that extended thing in Viego's jungle. That extended aggression. And we're chilling. Chilling and grilling. We're both D Blade. He's level 5 first. Auto W. Not a horrible trade. It did cost us mana, though, is the main downside. It's a what makes it a bad trade, like kind of for us, is he's Furies up, so his abilities are gonna do more. Plus, uh, he has minion advantage, so I can't do an extended trade through that. Three ranged minions is a D Blade 80 carry auto attack. Two is a Soraka auto. Pop that. Into a Q. Very nice. We definitely want to push here since our wave reinforces first it's going to push out to him so if he resets here uh he'll have item advantage and he'll come back and get full xp and most of the gold as well so we just want to finish crashing 
I think we got it crashed. It's time to back. He can try to stop my back if he wants. You have to use double dash to get to me and then I'll rip him apart. Even if he does have item advantage. They're both double AD. Uh, I think plated's the move here then. You, like stride breaker is very important on Darius for the slow, but if their jungle and their, your laner are both the same damage type, building that boot is pretty good. This is gonna come back to me. It's close enough under his turret reinforcement point, turret aggression. Or turret coverage, I should say. I might miss, after this minion, I might miss one more melee minion. Not even. You see it's snowballing so hard. Now we need to get a ward down, make sure no one's coming. I'm not quite six though, and he's got Fury built up. He doesn't have this warded. He hasn't stepped off yet. Ivern's in the area. Auto W again with the E. I don't think he has flash. I'm pretty sure I got that earlier. Auto W, Auto R. Dude, Renekton's a crazy champion. The fact that he almost won that one v two when I had full stacks on him, that's a wild. Renekton has a scarier level six than Darius. You've seen it here first. I'm gonna reset. I should still get plate gold. I'm in close enough range. I got the assist on it. That one uh, kind of advantage we pressed when we hit two first is what set up that kill with the Ivern gank. Because if we didn't take his flash, he clearly just gets away. But that one mistake cost him. So he didn't have it. It's probably up by now, though. My flash is up as well. Uh, maybe we should both rush executioners in this matchup. I'm actually not that familiar with the Darius Renekton matchup because I'm not a Darius one trick. I just have a general idea of how to play him and kind of use his power spikes. But yeah, seeing how much damage Renekton did at six though when he was fighting 1v2 is eye-opening. You might need executioner rush against him. Cut off his R healing a bit. Kite him out with Ghost on with your Q since your Q outranges all of Renekton's attacks, even Renekton Q. Because, yeah, his R, that's that's a huge issue. His R does AoE damage around him, which burns you. Uh, I think it also gives him, it gives him health and some other stats. It also gives him Fury, which empowers his other abilities. So it does a bunch of different things, just like Nasus R. Not sure. Oh, okay, there he is. I think I can stop him from getting back to lane now. Since he went for that ward, he's going to have to walk all the way around this way. Auto WQ. He's about to flash, I can tell. Auto W. Oh, I'm going to need an Ivory Shield ASAP. Auto W. Yeah, it, uh, Malzahar landed absolutely everything. Cassiopeia is going to chew him up, though. Yeah, Malz is dead. That's actually not that bad, because my wave was crashed. Him going for the controller let me push him off of everything. He was smart to go over the wall. Ivan was there. He gets punished. My wave didn't quite finish crashing. That's so annoying. These melee minions are just an inch back. You'd lose cannon and a bunch of others, but we might actually get this whole thing now. Well, yeah, at least he missed cannon. He's pretty far behind. That's good. Botlane's doing well. Got a Herald set up since I have top prior. It's easy for jungler to take. Not sure of their junglers. Haven't seen them much this game. We'll lock this guy down. Auto WQ. Auto E. Looks like their jungler's on Herald. The flashes are. Mm, he's doing some damage. I need to heal off Krugs real quick. They chunk the crap out of me with the Viego. He doesn't have R at least, but wow, that's some damage. I was not expecting, expecting that. I gotta play this nice and slow, get my hooker ready. Got it. That's good. The hook. Auto W. Ooh, he's getting hit by the turret. 
Got him with my heel. Down he goes. Very nice, very nice. We'll take it. Skadoosh. He's so low. Daisy wins this. Oh, nice, nice, nice. The only thing Ivern could have done better there was to cancel the auto on Daisy because Daisy's third autos can miss because it has travel time. So if Ivern canceled the Daisy auto and just pushed her forward since he had shield on her, she guaranteed gets that. that I'm, I'm very surprised that third auto even reached him. That was shocking. That was good though. That was really good. These guys are trying hard and they're getting spanked. Got to get nice and tanky now. Go ahead and just spend as much gold as we can. He went for plated as well. That's the meta. His tier two boots rush in pretty much every matchup type just cause item partials are all trash except for Sheen to where having tier two boots gives you such a big edge for running away, chasing down, or even just trading. They can't trade back cause you're too fast. So tier two boots is pretty cracked. And like I said, Sheen's the other one which, cause it turns trades nuclear so quickly for so many champs like Poppy or Fiora. Both tight CS. I have more kills though. I also have Ghost, which is going to outscale him pretty hard. This is way too many minis for me to freeze on. My, my wave's really far away is the thing. Yeah, we, we had to let that crash. Diego's bot side. This guy's free pickings. He goes blues up as well. I'm just going to go take his blue. Screw it. Renekton's playing like a sissy. Dragon's up. Hmm, maybe we should just go for dragon. Yeah, I think we just go drag. I don't think there's any point for me to stay top too much while I'm fed. Because this Renekton isn't really playing the game. Get with the hook, auto WQ, auto R, he's dead. Hey friend, got off my slow immediately, iron spike Q. Bard actually ended up living. Team should just take drag. Nice, yeah, yeah, we get two kills. Oh, uh, hopefully Cass doesn't die there, because we are going to lose some plates top side to all this. Darius is really good helping drags and heralds because our bleed does three times damage against monsters. He's going to get at least one more plate minimum. Whenever you play, break plates within quick succession, it gets more armor magic exists per nearby enemy champion. Since he's the only one there, it doesn't last for too long. Each plate's worth 125 gold. It was an earth from 175. I think it was this patch or last patch, which has hurt certain split pushing strats. Suicide strats aren't as strong as they've been. It's good though. Plate gold was a bit much. I could probably stop his back here. Oh, did he walk this all the way back to his turret? I guess he did. He doesn't have TP either, so. Maybe I can get his, ooh, wait, 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 wait. Oh wait, he just didn't reset. I have Stride Breaker, so I don't know what his plan is here. I'm gonna E auto W. Oof, missed it. And I'm in the turret. That was a horrible trade for me. He's acting like someone else is coming here. That's funny. I'm going to put his wave nice and tight. He's probably waiting to buy something. He's trying to get as much gold as he can. You put it tight. It's going to push to us now, even for last hitting. And he's not because his wave will attack versus mine streams in one at a time. Got to be careful with our last hits early on until the wave is uh, clearly pushing the way we want it to, which is towards us, of course. You see how he has more minions, even though I've been last hitting and he wasn't here? It's because we've made it go tight. Oh, he's got a gore drink now. These trades might actually start going in his favor. We'll see. I need to get heal cut is what I have to buy right now. Auto W stride break Q. Auto E, 
auto R, W, Q. I am stacked here. Got him with a Q, stride break. I think he just bleeds out. He's gonna have to try to R away. I'm just gonna let him die. Wait, he actually didn't die there? And in what world does he just not die there? That was so weird. That made no sense. His shield was back up. What the heck? I had to use all my sums. All right. Makes sense. Big wave bot side. I can pick that up. I have to get executioners here. Renekton Q heal. Diego heals. Renekton R. Ah, uh, now we go for... I'd say dead man's. Dead man's is pretty good against them. The triple physical damage. Malz is behind as well. And of course, Bard's a support. Can't wait for them to buff brand jungle. Laning's fun, but as a laner, you're forced to do so much more than lane if you want to not be bored out of your mind. Because if your laner just chooses to play mind boggling safe like this Renekton, there's not much you can do to stop that to where you're, you're forced to roam or to invade the enemy jungler. Auto W. Hmm. Yeah, we just take Harold here. We're out of big gold advantage. We take Harold. We take next drag. Uh, I say we could even give next drag and we all go like top or something and break three turrets. If they're foolish enough to go to dragon. When the enemy team has Harold, <laughs> you don't necessarily go to dragon with more <laughs> with multiple people. Hook, auto WQ. This is gonna be bad. He's about to kill us all. Oh, this is bad. Morgana got everybody killed. She stepped forward, lost all of her health, fed a free reset over to Viego. That's not good. Oh man, that's rough. That was about the only way that it could have been played that way and then us to lose that situation. Auto to R, down he goes, we'll take it. The black shield was late, but that's fine. She burns flash, V goes dead, so we take drag here. They can't stop it. I mean, Cass is dead. I have red buff, I'm healing back really fast. I have executioners as well, Renekton can't do a whole lot. They can't stop us. And as long as Iron Pills for us in team fight, we won't die. I'll have max out lethal tempo. We'll be cutting into them with, at this point, an extra 95 AD. Ooh, Renekton tries to steal. Auto E. We stride break after our E slow ends. I'm full stack passive right now. I need to get in range. Hmm. I'm about to die. Oof. Holy crap. If I died there, that would have been so bad. Vega would have probably wiped the whole team with his R resets. That was a great Morg snare. Uh, Renekton's dead. I could run top real quick or run in their jungle and still get value without having to reset, especially since I'm healing so much. When the enemies are dead, we want to try to take as much as possible because they can't stop it. So it doesn't really matter for one HP or full health. I can go push top here right after I finish this. Renekton should show up mid, I, I'd assume. All right, yeah, we'll push this real quick now. With a W stride break. Stride break's good for pushing waves. Mix it in. There's the Renekton. We'll get him with an E auto W. Ooh, I can't, I can't seem to hook this guy. It's the weirdest thing. He always positions just on the outside of it, no matter what. And that's it. They quit. We'll take it. Let's look at damage dealt, damage taken, and runes. Looking at damage dealt enemy champions, we had the most dealt in the game. Looking at damage taken, most dealt or most taken on our team. Looking at self mitigated, most taken in the game. Not bad. What is the self mitigated difference between us and Vieo? Is about 2k, almost 3k damage taken. 
so we almost took the most in the game if you count self-mitigated. Viego still ended up taking the most because he died so much. I'm pretty happy with that though. Rune's high value. All in all, Lethal Tempo Darius is a lot of fun. It does play best against people who are willing to fight you and play the game, but if you're playing against a high win rate diamond player who just wants to sit there and hide underneath turret, then that's what it's going to look like. If you guys enjoyed this Lethal Tempo Darius video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.